Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use File Access Manager to strengthen your file server security posture through real-time activity monitoring. Leading analyst firm has came out to actually say that file content accounts for 80 or even 90% of all information stored within the organization. And yet, organization has significantly underinvested in technologies um, to secure the file servers. Right, to even monitor them for signs of compromise. Before I go into the demo, let's look at some examples of potential gaps that might exist today. So take a step back, ask yourself, today if somebody is trying to copy or download a huge number of files in a short or for that matter, even a longer period of time, will your controls fire? Will you be notified? Say for example, somebody tried to download a million files over a couple of days or even a hundred thousand files within a day. Or it can be as simple as downloading 30 files in a minute. So who did it before, right? So if you look at it in historically speaking, you know, Edward Snowden did this. He was a defense subcontractor for NASA and he started, you know, downloading millions of files. And it was left undetected. Second, why the software process starts renaming or changing file extension? Does this sound familiar? Yes, of course it does. Because WannaCry did this in 2017. It's a ransomware. Or lastly, software process starts deleting files. Why it might be possible, you know, a disgruntled privileged insider may have written a script that will fire a month or two after he leaves the organization and the script will be be doing something like deleting all the files and trying to bring down the file servers for example so when all these things happen wouldn't it be good that you know if you have a control um, that can notify you and in the meantime also terminate the session so that you can actually limit the damage that's being done somebody can then go in and try and fix the problem on the other hand, if you have business leaders ask you for file activities, details for forensic purposes, some examples could be, you know, they, may, they might have realized that somebody might have deleted the financial results document, or even the research team, they might come back and say that, hey, the file containing the COVID-19 vaccine is stolen or is gone. And they wanted to find out, you know, all the activity that has been leading up to the deletion of the file. No, will your current controls or even your SIEM solution be able to answer such questions? So, taking all this into consideration, let's go through a short demo. Here, this is my demo scenario. First, of course, I have a file server um, and file access manager has been set up to perform real-time activity monitoring. I've also configured a rule that will be fired when it detects someone or something is trying to rename the file extension. Um, the threshold that I've configured is actually uh, more than 30 renames within a minute. Okay, so how am I going to stimulate this? I'm going to actually get uh, a user, Amanda Ross, uh, to log in into the file server. So shortly after, um, I will kickstart a process that will actually mimic Amanda's Ross access um, which will actually attempt to rename all the file extension on a particular folder and its subfolders, of course. So real-time activity monitoring will monitor the threshold, right? So when it detects, it passes the threshold, uh, it will send an alert to file access manager. File access manager will then send a notification to the security team. It will also terminate the user session on the file server it will disable the user's account. And lastly, it will send a revocation request to Identity IQ. Upon processing the request, Identity IQ will proceed to disable all the user accounts the user has in all the other applications. So now, let's go and see it in action. Now, starting the demo, so um, what you can see here is the Identity IQ Identity Warehouse. Just want to bring your attention to Amanda Ross, the user I'm going to use. You can 
see that um, he or she now is uh, in a active state right so if I do a refresh I make sure that it is yeah active and if you look back into the file server that's what it is I have uh, in the mailbox running here I will log in into Active Directory here you can look at Amanda Ross if you go to the account um, you will see here she uh, the account is uh, not disabled as well so this sets the stage of the the demo yeah so now what I'm going to do is to log in into the file server as uh, Amanda Ross so here I go connect to server Okay, in connect to data so you can see I can actually scroll around, read everything, and if I move around, high risk files and documents, and so on and so forth. Right, so now I'm going to bring up my malicious program. On the right, what you have is a uh, rename.sh. So what is going to happen is once I run it, it will go into demo folder on the left and change all the file extensions to .enc, right? So it's like somewhat simulating a ransomware, for example. So when file access manager detected um, the threshold alert, you know, when it has changed more than 30 files within a minute, uh, what, what happens is um, it will take kick off the three actions which I mentioned earlier. One is to terminate the session, two is to disable the user account on AD, and lastly is to disable the user account on um, Identity IQ. Right, so here I go, I'm going to click start now. So notice on your left, everything has now changed to .enc. So let's wait for File Access Manager to perform its magic. So here you see the email notification has came in. So now if I try to move away from the file share and go to say Macintosh and come back to the file share, you realize that the session is actually terminated and nothing is being displayed. See, now the session is gone. So if you go back to the file server, now if I got log in into Active Directory, Ah, you see here, Amanda Ross, we have actually appended the description to say that disabled by file access manager uh, with the timestamp. And if you log in into Amanda Ross, look at the account, you will see that the account is disabled. So the last action, right, uh, is to look at Identity IQ. So Identity IQ, if you do a refresh, you will see that actually Amanda Ross is inactive. So now the lifecycle events that you have actually configured in Identity IQ will kick off, disabling all her accounts that's attached to the system. So how does this look like from a file access manager dashboard perspective? So if you come in here, this is file access manager, um, you can click on it to say that, hey, extreme file name change frequency. So let me just click on it. So pick up the last one is we see you know there's Amanda Ross trying to rename files. So if you show the details, so this alert was generated by extreme file changes frequency. So we have actually detected 88 activities in total within that one minute time span. Thank you for watching this short video to demonstrate how you can use file access manager to strengthen your Windows File Server security posture. As a recap, I've demonstrated how to use the real-time activity monitoring function of a File Access Manager to detect potential suspicious activities. And as a response, we have demonstrated you can terminate the user session, you can disable the user AD account, as well as invoke Identity IQ lifecycle events to disable the user. If you have any questions or want to find out more, please do not hesitate to contact 
your sale point sales representative thank you